When I posted a video there a while back about conflicts and disputes on this site, the question, and it's a good one, arose that, well, talking about disputes and conflicts, have you any suggestions as to how conflicts and disputes could be resolved? Damn, that's a good question. And I'll be perfectly honest right from the start that I do not have any answers here. I have not got a magic formula that will resolve disputes on this site. Sorry, if you were expecting that, you may as well leave now because that's not what you're going to get here. The only thing I can do is make some suggestions as to how I deal with disputes and, you know, see what you think and see if maybe you feel that this might be a way that could help you deal with disputes as well. First of all, you need to realize something about yourself. And I have realized this about me. That, first of all, no matter how diplomatic you think you are, no matter how even-handed you think you are, there will be people who feel that you are not. Okay? And they could even be right. They could even be right. People who have accused me of not being even-handed could have been right. But I try to be even-handed. I try to be, you know, fair in dealing with people. And maybe sometimes I screw up. But I try. And when you're dealing with somebody who doesn't agree with what you think is fair in how you're dealing with a conflict, then the conflict is not going to be resolved. So you're going to have to realize that no matter how hard you try, sometimes the conflict ends up not being resolved. So you have to be willing to arrive at a point at some point during a conflict or dispute or dialogue or whatever, in which you basically have to agree to disagree with somebody and walk away. Similarly, if you're so inclined, some people really like the idea of winning at debate or whatever they want to call it. And that's how they view every dialogue, every interaction on this site. They see this as a debate that they need to win. And if that's the sort of person that you are, you have to realize, you have to start realizing, and that's again is something that I have had to realize, that you're not going to win every debate. Even if you feel that you have won and that you have pwned them, the person looking at your video might not agree and basically tell you that you have done no such thing and you have lost the debate even or whatever. So, again, you are not going to succeed in browbeating everybody that you feel is wrong when you are right into accepting that you are right. That's not going to happen. So, those sort of things you will need to realize about yourself and how you are interacting with people on this site. What you also need to realize is that conversely, people are suffering from the same delusions that you self, that yourself were suffering under. Even once you realize this about yourself, when I've realized this about myself, that I cannot always mediate properly and I cannot always win the argument, that there are other people on this side who are very much stuck in this mindset that they will find a common ground solution, or even worse, that they will come in, that they will convince you that they are right and that you are wrong, and they will not stop until you have utterly submitted to their superior intellect and their excellent debating skills. So what are you going to do when you are faced with somebody like that? You can, of course, as some people do, ignore them, point blank ignore them. But, you know, how is that conducive to dialogue? How is that conducive to a conversation? When you're ignoring them, you are the one killing the conversation. So you might as well do what I do when I'm confronted with somebody who is simply not willing to enter into an ordinary, normal dialogue about a topic, and that is block them. Because the end effect is the same. The conversation is over and you can move on. Now, some people have bought into this myth that blocking has something to do with freedom of speech. And that's nonsense. Freedom of speech, insofar that that even applies to a site like this, with its 
terms of service and its community guidelines. It applies to what you should or shouldn't be able to do on your own channel. It doesn't mean that everybody else is obliged to listen to you, nor does it mean that anybody else is obliged to give you a platform through their channel. If you've got something really important to say, make a video! Don't annoy other people around it. And if you start annoying other people about your little bugbears and hobby horses, then expect to get blocked by people who've had enough of you and your incessant ranting. That's what's gonna happen. This has nothing to do with freedom of speech. And in actual fact, those people who feel that they cannot block, those people who feel that they have to pledge that they will never curtail somebody's freedom of speech by blocking them, are just opening themselves up for abuse. When that happens, then I can see people like, for example, this person that I came across once called Mowgli52, who decided that it would be a great idea to come into my comment section and start posting chapters after chapter after chapter of creationist book material or something. He copied and pasted it from a website. It was literally pages worth of stuff. I see no reason why I should allow that sort of pollution to dilute the proper conversations that are going on on my videos, on my comment sections and so on. So I feel absolutely no qualm against blocking people. Blocking is a tool that YouTube have given you. A tool that will allow you to control your channel and control what goes on on your channel. And as a tool goes, as any tool goes, it can be abused and it can be used properly. And again, I'm afraid that you will find that nobody is ever going to completely agree with you, even if they agree that blocking is a tool that can be used under certain circumstances, they will not always agree that you have used that tool appropriately. They will disagree, they will feel that you should have blocked somebody or that you should not have blocked somebody else. That is life, that is the way the cookie crumbles. And to then proceed and try your damnedest to get it through somebody's skull that you did the right thing under the circumstances is a waste of your time and of theirs to be honest. Like I said, you have to realize that there are limitations of what to what you can achieve on a site like this. There are limitations to how well you can mediate and there are limitations to whether you can or cannot convince everybody else that you are right and they are wrong. I've had to realize this about what I'm doing here and so do you. You have to realize this too. And conflict resolution isn't always about everybody going away happy of reaching a compromise or anything like that. Sometimes you just have to agree to disagree. Turn your back and walk away. That is also a form of conflict resolution. And I think the sooner we all start realizing that we don't always have to win the argument, that we don't always have to come out on top, that we don't always have to end up all singing off the same hymn sheet, the better. Because otherwise we'll just get into a culture in which we start browbeating each other, we start bullying each other, and we start trying to convince each other about the one and only correct way of dealing with something. I'm certainly not going to be part of that. 